Sorry, I muted you. We can't hear you. Oh, sorry, I was. <laughs> hey, um, so hi everyone. This is um an intermediate English class, and today we're looking at uh, Van Gogh and possessives. So, um, to warm up, Victor, you have an echo. No. Does Van Gogh's artwork interest you? Would you ever go to a gallery full of paintings? Or... If you You're don't know Van Gogh, would you ever go to an art gallery in general? Um, so, Victor, you're up. Do you know Van Gogh's artwork at all? Uh, yes, I know some. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Uh, yes, I like the, the painting. Uh, uh, how was that? His self painting. Yeah, his um, his self portrait. Oh, self portrait. Okay, I like it. Mm -hmm. mm. And have you ever seen any of his paintings in real life? Mm, yes, I uh, have been in a printing gallery. It's, uh, it's a very small, but uh, and the printing is not very famous. Okay. okay. Uh, it's local. Do you know what it was called? Uh, I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And hey, Firkin, can you hear us? I can't hear you, hear you. I think. Do you hear oh. me? Yes, it's delayed. Okay. Maybe I can turn off my video. I don't know. Where are you? I'm in a mall. <laughs> You're at the mall? <laughs> yeah, do you see it? Is that a McDonald's? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell by the stools. <laughs> wow. And Popeyes. You have really good eyes. I can't even see them. You guys have Popeyes in Turkey? Yeah. We have everything. I don't even have a Popeyes here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And how do you know they exist? No, I know they exist. I meant I don't. there isn't one in Woodstock, but there's not really a whole lot of anything in Woodstock. So. Woodstock is a small town. Yeah. Um, so what's up? Do you like Van Gogh's artwork? Whose artwork? Van Gogh. Oh yeah, of course. Would you ever go to a gallery full of his paintings? No, I haven't seen any of those, but I would like to. Do you have a favorite one? Or you just like uh, his stuff? Yeah, the one, it's, the one is looking like Mordor's Castle. Starry Night? I'm sorry, could you repeat it again? Did you say it looks like Mordor's castle? Yeah, that was the one, like, there's a huge tower in the city. One, it's oh. getting dark. Starry Night, where there's the... Yeah, 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 that one. Cool. Um, okay, so today, um, hopefully my connection's okay today, guys. Um, I already got kicked off a little bit earlier, but um, if I disappear, I'll do my best to come back. Okay. Um, so, for our pronunciation, we're looking at the R sound today. Um, so, to make your R sound, you round your lips a little bit, and you push your tongue sideways against the inside of your top teeth. Here. R. Er, and you curl your tongue up a little bit and out a little bit. <laughs> er, er, er. And the most important thing is that you don't let your tongue touch the roof of your mouth. Um, as long as you don't let it touch, then you should be okay for your R sound. 
that as soon as it touches the roof of your mouth, it makes that this tapping sound that we don't actually have in English. So um, you're not making an English sound anymore. Hi, Ken. Uh, yes, hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Good morning. Yes, oh, hi. Yeah, yeah. Good. Good morning. I always have one of these in this class, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> my oh. big coffee. <laughs> oh, good morning coffee. Yeah. I think it's my head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we're just practicing our R sound first. So here's a few sentences. Her room, her library book, their living room, library. That can be a difficult one to read. Um, Victor, could you try reading those short sentences for us? Okay. Her room, her library book, their living room. Good. Library. Library. Yeah. Library. And like this. Library. Good. Um, Ken, do you want to try those sentences? Okay. Her room, her library book, their living room. Good. Her her room. Um, her room. Her, her room. library book. Her library book. Good. So instead of um and you're making almost a little bit of an O sound with your vowel and it should mm -hmm. be more like er like you're angry. Uh, her, her. 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 Good. Her, her room. Good. Better. Her room. Mm-hmm. Um and maybe we'll go back to our warm-up question for you, Ken. Um, do you know any of Van Gogh's paintings? Do you yeah, like sure. Van Gogh? Yes. Uh, I like imp impressionist uh, works. Me too. So, yeah. So uh, I, I like his work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and specifically him, or do you just like impressionism in general? Oh, kind of. Uh, explanation of impressionism, you mean? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, the before the influential time, you know, the picture, uh, most uh, pic, you know, drawers, uh, write a draw a picture like a photo, exactly the same, you know, shape. Right. Uh, what they see, but uh, imp impressions began to say, impression is more uh, is also important. Not only what you see, the exact kind of Mimic of the mimicking of writing of shape, but mm -hmm. also your impression is important. So that, I think that's a kind of a new idea from impressionist. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, and it's it's not quite abstract, right? But it's right. Um, it's blurring the lines of reality a little bit, right? Yes. Um, yeah. I really like it too. I like realistic painting as well, but not as much personally. Mm -hmm. Um, because to me it looks like photography, <laughs> but um, it's also, I mean, obviously the oldest form of painting is more realist. Um, Ferkin's giving us a grand tour of the mall. He's on an escalator. <laughs> Ferkin, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> I just said you're giving us a tour. You're on an escalator. I know. Is that your mom? Yeah. Tell her to say hello. She doesn't know I'm here. She doesn't know <laughs> oh, you're yeah. there? I mean, she doesn't know you are here. Can't she hear you speaking? No, I'm using headphones. Yeah, but she can't hear you speaking English? Yes, yeah, she can, but she doesn't care because I always talk, speak in English to my brothers. Oh, I see. Okay. That's funny. Um, so I guess we're just going to walk around the mall with Frickin for a little while. Uh, <laughs> hi, Louisa. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, what's up? <laughs> we are just talking about um, Van Gogh. And um, I was asking, do you know any of Van Gogh's artwork? Yeah, I know one well. Uh, let me translate the name. Uh, Star Night? Starry Night? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like this one. Mm -hmm. And do you like this uh, style of art? Um, um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe kind of. Kind of. Are yeah. you an artsy person? Do you like artwork, or is it not really your thing? No, I like art, but mm -hmm. uh, I like I like some of his work. Not 
not all of them. Mm -hmm. um, Victor mentioned his self-portrait. We've mentioned Starry Night a couple times. Do you guys know the Sunflower? Yes. Once? Mm -hmm. yeah. I went to the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. Um, actually, let me see if I have any photos from it. Um, I got in trouble for taking pictures, so I didn't get... <laughs> I didn't get very many, just a few. <laughs> um, I can see if I can find them. Uh, it was pretty cool, actually, at the Van Gogh Museum. I got to see um, lots and lots of his stuff. I just wanted to take pictures to show everyone, but um, I wasn't really able to. Let me see. I didn't think of it until now. Ah, here it is. Um, I'll share my screen so you can see a little bit. That's like one of his art easels. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oops. There's some of his self-portraits they had up on display. Hey, that's me. Oh, I guess I took quite a few pictures, actually. But they, it was around, yeah, I think right after I took this one, they came over and they're like, what are you doing? Put your camera away. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I got in trouble and I had to stop. Um... Cool. So uh, today we're looking at the possessive form. I'm just going to give you the link there. Can you guys get in? Let me know. Yes. Make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay. Um, Ken, why don't you read the first part for us? Okay. First, many people are confused with possession in English since we rarely make use of to show possession. In other languages, the house of John, in English, John's house. In other languages, the yam of the cat, English, in English, the cat's yam. Good. Okay. So we don't use of that often to show possession. Um, we tend to just use an apostrophe. Um, Louisa, could you read part two? Yeah. Second, using possessive nouns is the most basic way to form possession. They are placed before the noun uh, that they modify. They modify other nouns by showing possession of noun. Uh, continue. Yep. Uh, that is Jennifer's ca car. Uh, Tim's cat is sitting on the table. If the noun is singular, you will always add an uh, apostrophe and s. If the noun does not end in s, always add an apostrophe s. Oh, yes. Noun plus s. Jack uh, Jack's bike is outside. Sally. I like Sally's house. Good. Okay, so this is how we show it again. Apostrophe S. Um, if it's plural, uh, I don't know if Firkin can see the screen. Can you see the screen, Firkin? No. Okay. Victor? Yes, yes. No. Right here. Huh? We're right here. If, if. Okay. If the nouns is a regular plural ending in S, you can add an apostrophe. Construction. Noun plus apostrophe. Workers. The workers' tools. Students. I have to read students' papers. Possessive nouns can be used for, project, for objects and ideas. Not just proper names. We tested the cars safely. Safety. 
the theory's results were surprising. Good. So if it's a plural, um, and you're showing that more than one person owns something or more than one thing, then you use S apostrophe. Okay. If it's singular, then you use apostrophe S. Okay. Um, third, Ken. Yes. Third, using possessive adjectives is another way to form position. They are used when the context of the of who owns the noun is understood. Frank uh, Frank loves t uh, uh, tropical fish. Those are f uh, his fish in the tank. Jerry really loves reading books. That is her book on the table. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And mm, 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 Louisa, you can continue. Many people confuse possessive adjectives with possessive pronouns. Remember that possessive adjectives are placed before the noun that they modify. Uh, construction. Possessive adjective plus noun. Their house is the last one on the right. Talk to Susan. Her father is in the hospital. Yep, yeah, you can keep going. Other examples of the possessive adjective, uh, my, your, his, her, it, our, their, look at my new computer, is that your pencil on the table? Good. Why is his shirt dirty? I knew her little brother. Its problem is not known, and so on. Okay. And the fourth, um, Victor. Uh, fourth. Using possessive pronouns is another way to form possession. They are, they are used when the context of who owns the nouns is understood. Frank loves tropical fish. The fish in the tank are his. Jenny really loves reading books. The book on the table is hers. Remember that possessive pronouns are placed after the noun that they modify and use the to be verb. It will not be placed directly after the nouns and it is usually placed at the end of the sentence. Construction nouns plus to be plus possessive pronouns. The last hole on the right is theirs. The problem is his. And Ken, why don't you finish it for us? Okay. Yeah. Other examples of the possessive pronouns, mine, yours, his, hers, ours, theirs. Look at the, at, at the car, it, it is mine. The grand prize yours yours to keep. I think he uh, the watch is his. Are you positive that it is hers? The boat on the lake is ours. The children are theirs. Good. So, um, the idea is that possessive adjectives come right before the noun that they're modifying. Their, her, his, our, my, your. Um, they're basically still pronouns, but we just consider them adjectives because they're coming before your noun. Um, and they're considered pronouns when they're coming at the end and actually replacing. Um, so, the fish in the tank are Frank's or the fish in the tank are his. Right? This book on the table is hers. Um, uh, okay. Any questions about possessives? Or anything you want me to cover? No, it's okay? Okay. Okay. Um, well, let's take a look at our article. Oops. So our article isn't actually much of an article today. Um, <laughs> what I thought we would do was read through a few fun facts about Van Gogh or interesting bits of information and then look at some paintings and just talk about them rather than um, answering questions. <laughs> so here's the fun facts or the interesting facts about him. It's 
really small. I don't. I'm trying to make it bigger, but ah, there we go. Um, okay, so we'll just I'll just read through a few of them. Vincent, or Van Gogh, had an older brother who died at birth. His name was also Vincent Van Gogh. Um, he was friends with Gauguin, another famous artist. He suffered from temporal lobe epilepsy, as well as other mental and physical conditions. So he had a lot going on. Um, Vincent shot himself in a wheat field in Auvergne, France, but he did not die until two days later. So he did shoot himself, but he didn't die right away. He died at the age of 37. Vincent's brother, Theo, died six months after Vincent and is buried next to him in Auvergne. Vincent's brother's wife collected Vincent's paintings and letters after his death and dedicated herself to getting his work the recognition it deserved. So his brother's wife was the one to collect everything. Um, in a short period of 10 years, he made approximately 900 paintings. That's crazy. Um, I don't know about you guys. I think that's a lot of paintings for 10 years. Um, Vincent only sold one painting during his lifetime and only became famous after his death. He didn't cut off his ear. <laughs> that's always like the thing that people think of when they think of Van Gogh is his ear. Um, he, he did cut off a part of his earlobe, but he didn't cut off his entire ear. Um, he created his most famous work, The Starry Night, while staying at an asylum um, in France. His earliest career aspiration was to be a pastor at the Dutch Reformed Church, just like his father. And he wrote over 800 letters in his lifetime. The majority of them were to his brother and his closest friend, Theo. So... Um, just some information about him. We could go and, I don't know, look at some of his other stuff. But I thought we could just talk about some paintings today. So first, do you see any expressions, any new vocabulary? No. Yeah? What do you see? The, uh, I just slow down. Mm-hmm. Just tell me when. Uh, a bit more. Sorry? A bit more? Yeah. Oh. Do you see it? Pasta, yes, pasta. Pasta. Um, aspiration? No, pastor. Pastor. Yeah. Um, does anyone know what a pastor is? Uh, pastor means kind of, I think, Protestant. Ah, no. Uh, oh, yes, no. yes. Sorry, I thought you said protester at first. <laughs> yeah, Protestant um, uh, kind of, how can I say? Uh, minister. Yeah, minister, yes. Uh -huh. Someone in charge of a church service mm -hmm. is a pastor. Um, okay. Any other? Oh, wheat field. Field. Um, it's exactly what it sounds like, actually, Osama. It's a field of wheat. Like this. That's a wheat field. Okay. Mm hmm Anything else? Approximately? That means um, about 900 paintings. We don't know the exact number, but it was around 900, approximately. Something like 900 paintings. Okay. Anything else? You guys know what earlobe is? Your earlobe? Oh. Mm. 
This is your whole ear, right? This is your earlobe, just this mm. part. Mm. So like where girls get pierced. Mine's pierced, you probably can't see it. but. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's take a look at some paintings. So I guess we should look at Starry Night first, shouldn't we? <laughs> yeah. Since everyone loves Starry Night. Here it is. So it's not like a super high quality image, but um, what do you guys think about this painting? The idea today is to just um, kind of describe it, describe what you see, tell me how it makes you feel, you know, what is the mood. Like um, to describe this painting, I would say it's kind of gloomy, um, kind of dark. Um, the sky is very interesting. I don't know. So you could just describe and tell us how you feel about it. So maybe, who said that they liked this one? Was it Louisa? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what, what do you think? What do you think about it? What's going on? Um, I like painting because it looks nice. And it does not seem so uh, nice, but because of yellow color, mm -hmm. it seems like more... Um, oh. How should I say? Like lighty? More, sorry, say it again. Like lighty. I, I don't know how Light? to say it. Light? Or I lightning? Mean, no, I mean like with yellow color, this painting is more... Um, oh, lively. No. <laughs> sorry, it's hard with your microphone. <laughs> uh, I'm deaf. <laughs> I just... Uh, do you know how the word in English? So, um, um, I don't know. Can you type it? Yeah. Bright. Bright. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the yellow really brightens it up. The rest of it's really dark, right? Uh, yeah, but. Uh, darkness of other part of picture we can see because of this yellow because at first uh, slide when you are looking at picture uh, you are looking at yellow color and in the sky not mm -hmm. the building mm -hmm. okay um, do you know what I mean if I ask um, what is the mood or the atmosphere mood I'm going to type a few questions for us to think about when we're looking, okay? So here's one. What is the mood or atmosphere this paint, painting creates? I think she didn't be said, or maybe... Um. Mm -hmm. The painting is uh, like said, but not so said. It's more like... Um, he just in his mind and just decided to create this kind of thing. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay, cool. Um Osama, what do you think about this painting? Yeah, let me see. I think uh, I think uh, it's not an nice. Hold on, I just have to turn you up. Oh there yeah, we go. I can um, Yeah, it's okay, I can, I adjusted it. Yeah, I think uh, maybe the mood uh, of the painter is kind of uh, maybe maybe scared, or maybe confused, and maybe some sad because the, because the dark, the darkness. Mm -hmm. You can see, I think. Uh, uh, I don't think maybe yes, the clouds. Uh, yeah, the clouds. Is it a cloud? Cl the 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 clouds up all of this going on up here. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a mixture of kind of there he's trying to show some cloudiness with the swirls and the stars as well are mixed in there. Yeah, it's got the evil spit, it's got the evil uh, smoke uh, around around the cities. Mm-hmm. 
in the dark night like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, does anyone else have anything to say? What do you guys think about this painting? The world is distorting. What is? The world is distorting in his yeah. image, in his mm -hmm. impression. Yeah, it makes me think of like the Twilight Zone or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you look up and the whole sky is spinning and I don't know, something crazy is going to happen. Um, I find this interesting too. What, what do you think is up with this big, I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be, a tree? Maybe mm -hmm. a castle. Mm -hmm. A castle? Be a might be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think that that changes the painting at all? Yeah, I guess. It takes up a lot of space. Um, Victor, what do you think about the painting? Uh, I think um, he used uh, the, con con the contrast of the color is very mm -hmm. good. And uh, did you realize that if, if, if you uh, look at the picture from far away, you can see a, a face in the painting? Really? Where? In the sky? <laughs> yeah, that was like yellow yeah. star. Yes. In the middle. How far back do I have to go? <laughs> I don't know. I just saw. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, um, let's take a look at another one. Let's see what we can find. Uh, the bedroom, that's a popular one. Um, that's the one that you saw the picture of me in this one. Um, so, Any thoughts about this painting? It's a lot different from the last one. The first thing I notice is perspective. Do you know what that means, perspective? Mm -hmm. um, the perspective is way off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the painting or the pictures and stuff on the wall are on a big angle. Um, the perspective is doesn't look accurate at all in here. The chair looks like it's on an angle. Um, so I don't know what what do you guys think? Is it a cartoon? Um, it looks kind of cartoony, doesn't it, Osama? Yeah, I guess it's too simple. Do you think this is similar to the last one? At all? No. But I think this is kind of too simple, I guess. It's kind of just a bedroom. Uh -huh. uh, just an empty uh, bedroom, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like anyone. Do you think it's too simple compared to the last one? Yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. any, other, any other thoughts about this painting? No? This one's kind of boring. Let's look at something else. <laughs> I, I like this picture more, actually. <laughs> because the feeling of this picture is kind of uh, comfortable. And yeah, that's what I think, too. It's a bit like pop, you know. It's a bit like, you know, pop, pop, pop art. Maybe that's why. Yeah, a little it bit. It's like cartoon. Yeah. Does everyone atmosphere. know what pop art is? Everyone who doesn't know when we've made the reference now. This is pop art. Um, usually when you think of pop art, you think of like Andy Warhol, Lichtenstein. Um, I don't know, there's a bunch of them, but very colorful, like, um, um, what are they called? Graphic novels or comic book sort of style. Um, colorful dot art. This is the Andy Warhol thing with the four and the different colors. Um, it's become very popular, so that's a different type of art. Um, it does have a little bit of that with the outlining and the colors, I think. Yeah. I think it seems very comfortable. And uh, the reason why Gaho's picture lost uh, perspective because uh, impressionist uh, art, uh, you know, artists uh, began to interested in uh, wood print, Japanese wood print. Yeah. So Japanese wood print doesn't have perspective. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's one of the reasons why he, yeah, 
this old one, you know, has perspective. Yes, more traditional European style. He has a lot of Japanese artwork, um, or Japanese influenced artwork. If we just Google it, him, you can see a few of the most popular ones. Um, I'm lucky I got to see both of these, so it was pretty cool. But this one um, with the trees and it's cherry blossoms, I think, right? Yes, I think so. Mm -hmm. And he would use some lettering and other stuff. Um, and also this woman is a popular one of his. Um, so here's some more, another one. So he was pretty heavily influenced by Japanese artwork for a few years there. Lots of cherry blossom paintings and that sort of thing. Um, interesting. Um, let's look at another one. Night Cafe. Maybe we'll just go and see what we can find. Ones that This one looks pretty cool with the sky. Oops. I don't know if you guys can see it from there. Oh, yeah, there it is. Um, that's a little bit higher quality, this image, so it's easier to see the, the lines and everything. Um, so what do you think about this one? The sky is a lot different. It's the same sort of idea as Starry Night, but it's during the day in a field. Um, what do you think about this? Um, Louisa, do you like this one? Maybe she can't hear me. Osama? Yes, I guess so. Uh, I think it's maybe. You can see how we painted the. Uh, the nature of the first. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think with uh, bright, maybe brighter color, I guess. And, mm -hmm. uh, it makes me feel like I'm, like, I don't know, walking through a desert and it's really hot and I'm getting dizzy, so the sky's all blurry or something. <laughs> um, and whenever I see a cornfield in one of his paintings, I think of how he shot himself. <laughs> And like that's what what he's drawing a picture of it. Um, I think this tree is, is look like uh, an animal, I guess. This big one. No, the small, the small. The small one. Yeah. Yeah, it it's, looks like right here. I don't know if you can see. Can you guys see my mouse? Yes. It looks like right here. It has legs. Like it, <laughs> it's like a sheep or something. <laughs> yes. Eating for the cold, I guess. Uh huh. Any other thoughts about this painting? Uh, this picture is less painless than pre you know previous dark night picture, but uh, yeah, definitely. still the world is distorting. So maybe he feels oh, always or sometimes feel the feeling of this kind of. I this I maybe I can feel the feeling. It's hard, yeah, actually. It's not Maybe you can see uh, yeah. the tall, the tall tree is kind of similar to the, the tall building in the first picture, I guess, the first painting, mm -hmm. mm. looking over, over all the place like that. I don't know if so it's also in the dark. Yeah. It could be the same scenery, you know, the tree kind of like thing is very mm -hmm. similar to you know, that dark night picture. Yeah, it I think so a, too. It just mm. seems to have moved. <laughs> and we can see the green a little bit more because it's not as dark. But I think that's interesting because in Starry Night, um, there's all the buildings and it's more metropolitan, and the sky is like this, all crazy and blurry. And then here, it's purely nature, and the sky kind of looks the same way. So I don't know. It's interesting. I see what you're saying, kind of about like the dis the distortion. It's kind of a reflection of um, what was going on in his head, I think. Because he had a lot of medical problems and mental problems. Uh, I think you can see a lot more cloud in this one. That's all clouds in the sky, right? But for me, this painting is not seems like 
uh, this draw a crazy person. I like this one because it's uh, showing a beautiful landscape, mountains and trees, mm -hmm. and green part of land. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, different feeling. Um, okay, let's take a look at another one. Oops. Did not zoom in. They keep showing the screen, but this is not. It's not Van Gogh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they're doing that. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's Edward something, isn't it? The screen. But the feeling is a sim, uh, uh, Yeah, the Edward Munch. Yeah. Edward Munch. I was looking at it. I'm like, why are they? Why are they showing us that? That's not Van Gogh. Um, but I mean, we could let's take a look at this one anyway. It's not actually Van Gogh, although I guess people seem to think it is. I um, think the price is similar. The that uh, yeah, you know so, shows the. Uh, Sometimes internet Google is not reliable. Actually. Yeah, let's take a look yeah. at this one. Let's all be aware that this is not a Van Gogh. Thing. <laughs> um, but why do you think it's being like? People seem to think it's Van Gogh because Edward Munch is not as famous by any stretch. Um, why would this painting be linked with Van Gogh? What do you think? Judging by the last few that we saw. The colors of color. The color. And uh, f feeling of distortion for me. It's a kind of. Yeah. yeah. What is. Especially yeah. right here. Like, mm. this looks to me like a big whirlpool or something. Like, the water is peeling off of the page. Mm. So, the color, the, the distortion. Anything else? Because people very, very commonly mistake this for Van Gogh. Do you know what to what to call it? Um, the way that someone paints um, with their paintbrush. What what it's called when you wipe a paintbrush on a page? The verb. Uh, stroke. Stroke. Okay. So you can say like this just to show you. Um, to to stroke is like if you have a pet dog and you're petting it, you could say you're stroking it. If you're painting and you do this, you're stroking the, um, the the canvas. So when we're describing paintings, we sometimes talk about the brush strokes. Mm -hmm. The brush strokes. And um, I don't know, for those of you who have seen any Van Gogh in real life, um, that's one of the things he's most famous for because he uses very thick, like globby, globby, I mean... Um, uh, thick, I guess, brush strokes where there's like chunks of paint and he's just like drawing through it and if you get close to it you can see that it gives it a lot of texture texture so the paint is really lifted off of the page a lot and they let you get up really close to it like you could touch it if you wanted to, I would never do that but um, you get so close and you're really looking at it and these are things that you you can't see from a, from a photo, photograph of it but this has the same sort of thing, really globby, like, blobs of paint, <laughs> mm -hmm. which I think gives it all that cool color stuff. Mm. Um, okay, maybe we'll get away from Munch and go back to Van Gogh. Um, you guys tell me, what, tell me which one I should click on. Do you see anything that's interesting? No? Oh, that's gloomy. That's just a skull. <laughs> um, all right, I'll pick another one. Let's see. The street. Sorry? Uh, the one that's showing the street. I don't know the name. Like the flowers? The no. Uh. Um. Beside the first one? No, just never mind. <laughs> okay, I'll pick one unless does anyone see one they want me to open? Oh yes. 
Affect the husband. Which one, Osama? Affect the husband, I guess. I can't hear you. Affect the husband, I guess. Oh, Victor? Mm. Oh, this one. Okay. Um, who is that? I don't know what this is. It's a preacher. <laughs> to recreate Starry Night? Oh. It's the preacher. Uh-huh. It's like, it's supposed to be Van Gogh painting it, maybe? Yeah. That's interesting. Um, okay, let's see. What about, let's look at this one. Wheat field again. Um, so, what do you guys think about this painting? The contrast, yellow and dark sky, or dark bars, contrast is. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, you could a, say yeah. it's a it's very a sharp impressive. a sharp mm -hmm. contrast. You know, the yellow is very colorful and uh, kind of. Sun, a lot of sunshine, but actually the uh, sky is dark. Mm -hmm. Kind of, yeah, kind of unbalanced. I mean, uh, that contrast is impressive for me. Yeah, it's kind of like reversed from the last, from Starry Night, right? Where now the mm -hmm. dark is on top, and I think it changes the whole mood mm -hmm. of the painting. Um, any other thoughts? What do you guys think about the crows? They're bad and um, you mean the kind of birds, yes? Yeah? yeah, the birds, they're called crows, cr like this. Um, yes. They they tend to symbolize some certain things. So, what, maybe what do you guys... Uh, maybe a cause. Osama, sorry, I didn't hear. Yes, uh, I think all, when people see uh, like this kind of uh, quotes, they're always expecting something bad will, will happen, I guess. Yeah. So maybe, so maybe he's kind of expecting something bad is still having a big kind of storm, and we can see the crop moving around and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this the dark sky, the dark sky, I guess. Yeah. Maybe. It looks like there's wind blowing, I don't know, to me, it looks like there's wind blowing the wheat. Like, it looks like it's on a big angle. And the sky's all crazy, the crows are there. Um, I think that's a good idea. It looks like something bad is about to happen. Um, crows tend to represent, like, death and, um, I don't know, that sort of thing. Darkness. You always see crows flying around, like, haunted castles <laughs> and stuff like that. When um, this one? Mm -hmm. um, Victor, do you like this one? Mm, I couldn't understand this one. You don't understand this one? Yeah. What do you mean? Like you just it, you just don't get it? Yeah, I don't get the meaning. Mhm. Mm um, well, Osama is saying, well, maybe it's supposed to show something bad's going to come. Um, I don't know what it means necessarily. Ken, what do you think? Mm, yeah, you know, so if uh, even though the sky are you know sunny and cl you know a lot of sunshine day, but if my mind is sad or gloomy, maybe mm -hmm. I I I feel like kind of thing, you know. So, uh, I feel sometimes that's happened to me, you know, the very sunny and uh -huh. usually, in general, comfortable day, but if I, I, I'm i not a, a mood, right mood, I feel kind of emptiness in the mind. Yeah. The, such contrast, you know. Sky yeah. is blue and very beautiful, but my mind is empty or something like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I don't know if he feels such kind of thing, but uh, uh, yeah. 
Sometimes yeah. it does happen to me. <laughs> yeah. I feel like um, cold when I look at this painting. <laughs> like I feel like there's a big breeze or something and all the birds are flying away and you're like alone in a cornfield. I don't know. It just, it seems really creepy to me. Mm -hmm. um, and I think reading about what ha what happened to him in the wheat field, do you guys remember? Uh, he killed himself. Yeah, he shot himself, right? Mm -hmm. um, obviously, he painted this first. <laughs> so it makes you wonder, like, how long he'd been think planning it. It just, it seems really creepy to me, the whole thing. I don't know, it creeps me out, this one. <laughs> um, it kind of looks like The Wizard of Oz, too. <laughs> I want to know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Were you going to say that, Lisa? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it kind of looks like it with the path through here. And, like, I feel like Scarecrow is, like, over here somewhere in the distance. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, that's house. That's, I went there as well in Amsterdam. Um, I didn't take any pictures because it was a uh, bit of a gloomy place. Um, what a different kind of speed, but another influence of his, like what um, Ken mentioned before. So what do you guys think of this painting? I like this one. You like it? I, I saw it first time, but and for first time seeing, I really like it. My eyes just... <laughs> Look at this. It's nice. It is nice. It's very bright. Um, I don't know if... The, is this a bird over here? I can't tell right here. It looks like a bird. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Maybe. Yes. Um, maybe a squirrel. A squirrel, maybe. So what do you guys think of this one? It's just very pleasant compared to the last one, right? <laughs> we were talking about his influences... Where is this coming from? Yeah, kind of woodprint. <laughs> For me, it's clearly, if, you know, was influenced by the Japanese woodprint. Mm -hmm. mm. Because mm -hmm. the theme is maybe cherry. This tree seems like cherry blossoms. Yeah, uh, it yeah. does. Mm -hmm. And even if it's not, just the way that the branches are, um, looks like that. Um, it's interesting because there's nothing really happening in the sky. Mm, right. It's just kind of a flat background. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder why he did that. I don't know. Interesting. Um, okay, maybe I'll have any questions. It's kind of a different class. I just felt like um, talking about art instead of answering questions. <laughs> so um, do you have any questions? Anything else you want to say about Van Gogh, his paintings? Any questions for me? I've seen a lot of them. Oh. Okay. Cool. Um, well, we're going to go for five minutes. Where's my calendar? When we come back, we are... Oh, yay, we're playing Taboo. <laughs> I don't even remember what classes I've been in. <laughs> uh, when we come back, we're playing Taboo, and then at noon... We're looking at the 10 most overlooked ancient mysteries in history. Um, so we'll be playing a game in about five minutes, okay? So come join us, hopefully. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thanks for Bye. coming. Bye. See you, See you Bye. soon. Bye.